Weddings in Ancoli reveal in a striking way the interaction of African with European traditions. A wedding party like this one, taking place at the couple's new home, may have some features familiar to Western peoples. The principals prepare for a formal portrait while the guests await a feast. But many vestiges of traditional patterns remain, the most notable being the solemn mood of the participants. Today, most weddings are performed in church. Of the several which might occur on a single day, some retain more of the traditional customs than do others. Formerly, a young man would negotiate with the family of his chosen bride, transmitting to them some bride wealth, cattle if he were a muhima, a goat or some beer if he were a mwiru. Often the groom would have to engage in a half-serious battle with the young girl's friends, subduing them in order to take his bride away to her new home. These practices have not completely died out. Most couples married by the church retain the bride wealth custom, although some of the younger Banyankoli seriously question the practice. Brides seldom smile. Marriage seems still to be, at least symbolically, a defeat. Typically, brides fast one or two days before the wedding. Emerging from the ceremony, they appear worn out, as if vanquished in battle. The more Europeanized the couple, the more European-like the wedding. Here, the marriage of two school teachers both of whom are highly Europeanized, incorporates many features of a European wedding. The white gown, the bridesmaids, the flower girls, transportation for the guests, and a decorated car rented for the occasion. The party to celebrate this wedding is exceedingly Western-like. The several-tiered wedding cake, a battery-operated radio providing Swahili jazz, imported English china on which to serve the tea and cakes. The native musical group serenading the couple as they enter their new home is about all that remains from the traditional practices. Thank you. 